Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how you can uh, develop your Angular project using the docker file. So you don't need to install node or npm on your local system. So for that you can uh, download these files that we will use in to create our um, Angular application then here we can see how we can uh, after creating the project how we can run the angular project on our docker container so these are the files that i have downloaded so this is the first file that we are going to use for the creation of the angular application and these are the two files which we will use to run that uh, angular application and we can modify the angular application so these are the commands that i have provided to you so you can run this command so actually it will uh, build the uh, image using this node lts alpine This is the smallest uh, docker content docker image uh, using the lts alpine so it is hardly about uh, 100 mb the name will be angular for the image Okay, that image is built successfully. So now next we have to run that uh, image and we have to create a uh, container. So from that container we are going to actually uh, generate our Angular application. Okay, now we have given the name Angular web to that. Uh, running container so next now we are going to create the project so in the last command we have binded uh, all volume current directory volume uh, to the uh, docker container slash app folder or we can say directory so in the directory uh, we are going to create new project so you can define your project name over here so for example youtube i am creating the youtube project so it will ask for uh, like uh, normally do you want to add the routing or not so you can select the style which you prefer after that it will start uh, installing the dependencies or in all Now you can see here that uh, our angular project get created. Okay, now our project is get created. So, but there is a problem. All the files have the uh, root access. So this user won't be able to modify it, uh, this file. So we have to change the permission. or you can say change the owner of the uh, this file so you can run this command now you can see that uh, the user and the owner get 
merchant book are the files so uh, now we are done with our creation of the project so next we have to run that project for that uh, we can uh, delete our uh, current running uh, container so we can so currently we have we don't have any running container so now we want to uh, run our uh, that angular project for that we are going to use those files two files so this is the uh, again docker docker file that uh, we are referring the same node rts package in working directory same as uh, slash app now we are copying that uh, this package dot json to to that docker container and next uh, we are installing all the dependencies from package dot json and installing the angular cli so if we need to create any component or anything we want to run directly to ng command so we can run on that uh, container and uh, as we know angular mostly run on the port 4200 so we are export uh, expose the uh, port 4200 and finally we have to uh, run that ng sub command and we have added two more parameter that is uh, host and that uh, 0, 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 for running the uh, angular application now on the ip not on the local host so run that command So Docker Composer will refer this file. So uh, we, it will build uh, this angle, Docker file and bind the port to port two double zero and uh, create two uh, volumes. So it will share the uh, node module that is installed on our Docker container. Uh, to the working directory and uh, our current project with the slash app folder to the container. Okay, so our Angular uh, project uh, compiled successfully. So now we can access our Angular project on localhost 4200. So now we have to check that uh, if we have uh, updated update the code. So it it should reflect uh, instantly on the browser. So let's try to update some code. Targeting the dot html file here we can say okay we have to check resources so these are the resources so we can say uh, now we hit the save button and okay uh, or uh, code get reflected or you can say that you get reflected instantly so not next thing is we have to check uh, 
if we have not uh, installed any CL, uh, Angular CLI on our or, uh, local machine, so sometimes we need like uh, this thing and and the generate new component or any other any other command related to ng so how we will run that so for that uh, we can say we can add one more window and then we can say uh, docker compose now we have to execute on this web and that way we referring to this one so this and we can uh, next we can uh, put our command so uh, okay so our command get executed successfully and the component xyz is uh, generated in the app directory so one more thing that uh, next uh, when when you push that uh, that uh, project to any GitHub or any source uh, version control system, so next time just you have to run uh, this uh, uh, Docker uh, Docker compose up command. So next time you don't have to create that uh, new project. So you don't need this file. So this is the file that we are referring for uh, creation of the project and this is uh, this is the file that we are using for uh, port binding and uh, volume mapping. So that's it from my side. Thank you Sam, so much. If you have any doubt uh, regarding this you can comment in the comment section. Thank you so much.